All right, so a winch winds rope onto a spool that has an effective diameter of 3.3 inches, and it winds it with a velocity of 7.8 feet per minute. And it does that while it pulls with a force of 10,550 pounds. You've got a current meter and a voltmeter set up between your battery and your motor so that you can monitor um, the energy usage of your motor or power usage of your motor. Um, based on that setup, it says it's drawing a 190 amp current uh, while the voltage is dipping down to 11.9 volts while it's under that kind of load. So in these conditions, we want to know the efficiency of the winch. Okay, how do we do that? So what's the definition of efficiency? Okay, I'll say it's your useful power out over your required power in. All right, and that's what we're trying to find. So what is our useful energy out? Okay, force times velocity, right? So force times velocity, just like we saw before, work is, work is equal to uh, force times distance. If you take work divided by time, force times distance divided by time, what you have on the left is power. And what you have with D and time over here is velocity. So you end up saying that P is equal to F times velocity, for power's time, force times velocity. All right, well, that's helpful because for this problem, we already know the force and the velocity. So we can just put those in there. Uh, force is 1,550 pounds. Okay, times your velocity there is 7.8 feet per minute. All right, and then I'm going to take this and divide it by my power in. My power in is just going to be voltage, 11.9 volts, times my current, 190 amps. So what's wrong? I don't have the right units all in place. So what can I do about that? Okay, we can do some unit conversions. So what kind of unit conversions might I be interested in trying to do? Okay, anyone know that conversion off the top of their head? You're, you're close, all right? Does uh, 4.45 sound familiar? Okay, if that's not something you know off the top of your head, it's not the end of the world because you might actually notice most of these exams have some reference material. Maybe this one doesn't. Let me try to find one that does. Okay, hey, there's that problem. So some reference material. <laughs> and maybe it wasn't added to this one yet either. Anyway, the point is, you can, you can usually find that information on reference material. It is not one of those things that's often something you're asked to, uh, to just remember. All right, so 4.45 newtons per pound. And that takes care of my, uh, my pound units. What else? Okay. Feet, I need to get feet into meters somehow. And uh, I'll say, if you are asked to remember these, sometimes if there's an interesting chain you can go through to get to where you want to be. Um, I'll say, I don't always remember feet to meters, even though I know it's probably somewhere around three and a third uh, feet in a meter. I don't always remember exactly what it is, but I'll tell you, I remember some other ones. So I remember that uh, there's 12 inches in a foot
I also remember that there's uh, 2.54 centimeters in an inch. I also remember that there are uh, 100 centimeters in a meter. And so what I'm able to do there is get rid of my feet and get rid of my pounds and get rid of my inches, get rid of my centimeters, and I'm back to Newton meters. But I have Newton meters per minute. So what else do I need up here? Yeah, so I probably want to do 60 seconds in a minute. And that helps me get back to where I need to be to find my efficiency. All right. So it's kind of a big mess, but we'll go ahead and do it. 10, 550 times 7.8 times 4.45 times 12 times 2.54, right, divided by... 100 times 60. And in the denominator, I'll put 11.9 times 190. So I end up at 82.3% efficient or so. <clears throat> so, you know, this actually brings up a, uh, you know, a lot of times students, if they don't get exactly the value that they were uh, expecting, what are some reasons why that might be? Okay. Yeah, so some of these conversion factors, especially if you're crossing over from unit system to unit system, some of these conversion factors are not exact always. Um, in this particular example I'm doing, uh, are there any of my conversion factors that may not be exact? Okay. Believe it or not, centimeters to inches is not one of them that's not exact. Yeah, so newtons to pounds, that's the one that may or may not be precise. Um, that's an interesting thing. An inch is exactly 2.54 centimeters. All right, hopefully that was helpful.